How you doing? Mario McCall. How you doing, Good, good, actually. Having fun. Having fun. You've been, been moving around a lot. You just go with the flow, right? Uh, whatever the team needs. Whatever the team needs, I, I'm going to do is just go get it and do it to my best ability. How, how, did, how did that move happen? Was it your idea? Was it the coach's suggestion? Yeah, uh, that, it was actually my idea. Okay. So, like, my last go around, I wanted to try something different and, and go for it and give it my all. That's exactly what I'm doing. How much experience did you have from your corner? Before, well, I, I played corner my whole, I played defense my whole life before I got to Ohio State. So, I mean, it was nothing, it wasn't new to me. It was just remembering. It was more, it was all so remembering. It is new going against guys like receivers oh, yeah, like yeah, this yeah. instead of North Ridgeville. Area, right? <laughs> For sure. How's that adjustment been? I mean, are you going out there going, holy crap, this is way different than I thought? Or do you feel like you belong there? Uh, I feel like I belong there for sure. It was, it was more so of listening to the coaches, get the techniques, and I go play football. You know I mean? yeah. So it was, it, I was never like, oh crap, I got Chris O'Reilly right here. Or oh crap, I got Gary Wilson. Like, All right, let's get each other better. You know? And that was it. Would you be as comfortable right now if you weren't going against such good receivers? Like, how, how could they be better? It made, it, it made me a lot better. And well, just me playing receiver gave me an advantage on the defensive side. I, we talked, I was kind of speaking to Ryan Watts about you, and he said that because you've been, you haven't been cornered much here, you take all of the coaching because it's you're kind of new to you, so you, you are better able to put it on the field. What's that? Yes. Like? Yeah, so it's like, I mean, it's not like learning new, like learning new stuff. It's just like, like I said, like remembering all, all this. So it was, I mean, just the techniques, for real. Mario, what went into your decision to be here this season? Was it obvious to you that you wanted to stick around, or how did you decide that? Well, I, I, knew, I, wanted, I knew I wanted to stick around. It was more so of how would I handle my situation. What, what do you mean by that? In terms of where you would play, or just what, what else went into handling your situation? Yeah, yeah, just a word, just where I would play, just more playing time, and I mean, and, and I like to compete, so I felt like trying something new would, 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 would make me compete even more, and I was I was ready for something new. Not everybody would do that, though, right? Not everybody after a long career here would be willing to try something new, even though you've played it before. Why were you? What is it about you that made you open to that idea? I agree with that statement. I feel like a lot of people who, who would have been in my shoes right now would have transferred or left. That's the easy way. And I just feel like me being me and just coming from where I come from, the transition to from receiver to corner was almost the easy part for me. So it was. So it was. It was not a hard. It was. It wasn't a hard choice for me to make at all. It wasn't at all. Ever cross your mind of like, maybe I will go somewhere else. Listen, you can go, people can go now. And maybe I could be a, a big part of an offense somewhere. Did that cross your mind ever? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So then how do you how did you wind up not doing that and staying here? What, what was the process you went through with yourself, or your friends, or your family to make the decision? The thing that made me stay was the brotherhood that's here. It's hard to leave. It's hard to leave the love and just the brotherhood and the guys in, in the locker room. So, I mean, that was one that was my biggest thing, to be honest. Well, you're, it's your sixth year. When you got here, could you ever have imagined to be here this long? I see it six years. Most guys come here and they're thinking, things go great, I could be gone in three. Yeah. Um, what was your mindset there? Nobody, I mean, to be honest, nobody wants to be here in six years. But we all got different routes. The guy got a plan for all of us. So this is plan and he got the, I mean, he's driving and I'm with it. How frustrating was it like last year when your role was basically to return kickoffs and most of the time it was, it was you know, fair catches? Um, how much did you want to have a bigger role in the offense? How did you deal with it? Uh, I would say just, I mean, just the people around me helped me get through it. It was, it was very frustrating, very frustrating. Just the people around me, just talking to my pops every day, talking to moms, talking to my, talking to my brothers in the locker room. Just keeping my head on. That's all. Well, that would have, like, you know, like Doug said, you've been here a long time and haven't found that, that major role that I'm sure you, you think you can fulfill. How have you gotten through it? Were you know, there times you thought I had no? Yeah, there was definitely times where I felt like this is it. And I mean, but 
coming from where I come from, you can't give up that easy. Can you elaborate on that? I mean, what where you grew up, where you grew up, what is it about the way you grew up? Yeah. You, I don't know. I, yes, I do. the way I grew up, I mean, mm-hmm. we all we all got different. Mm-hmm. How would I say it? Uh, I say, do, I mean, the way I grew up was. Well, come from where I come from, it's tough. So, I mean, I've been through tough situations. I've been through tougher situations than I've been that I've been through since I've been here. So it wasn't nothing who that just beat me down, beat me down, beat me down. It was more so making me better, making me stronger mentally. Feel me and physically, I'm already in the weight room getting stronger. So it was just like working on my mind and working on the way I think every day, working on my energy to come in, just just smiling, just smiling, just staying positive. How big a role do you think you can have this year? I think I have a big role this year, bigger. As long as I keep doing what I'm doing out on the field now, I think I have a bigger. What would that mean? What, what do you envision is a big role for you? Just just getting on the field. And once I get on the field, just doing what I do best, playing football every time I'm on the field. Yeah, that sound, I mean, like, that's almost hard to process to hear that, right? It's like, man, you're just, you're switching the defense just mm-hmm. this year and that you could help out a team that's trying to win a national champ- championship. But Coach Combs is saying, like, man, sometimes they put on the film and you're putting out the best technique in a drill of anybody out there. Like, as do you know what I'm saying? That like it sounds yes. like what Demario just switched to yes. defense and he's going to play. That yeah. sounds crazy, but then when you explain it, people explain it. it doesn't sound as crazy. Anymore. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's more so just remembering, like, but learning the technique again. So it was, like I said, it wasn't a hard transition for me. I'm an athlete. I'm a football player. Yep. I played football my whole life, so it was nothing new to me. It was probably new to Buckeye Nation and some of the guys who. Who, didn't, who can't see me on defense or who didn't watch my high school or before that. But to me, it was I played defense my whole life until I got here, so it was just remember. What has been the hardest part about the transition, if there has been a hard part? The hard, the hard part was just speed. It's, 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 it's way quicker, it's quicker, it's faster now. And when did you graduate? Uh, I just graduated um, in May, a month ago. Okay. What was your degree in? Sports industry. So what would you like to do whenever your playing career is done? What would so, you like? Yeah, so when football when football is all over, after my career, I would like to just stay in the sports field and help kids somehow. Like even I've got to do with coaching, just, just getting them better. I always like being around just because of my energy, just being around kids and bringing them up. So you but you, you could see yourself in coaching? I can. Do you think this is like you – you got trained on the offensive side of the ball here forever, running back, receiver. Now you're on the defensive side of the ball. How might that help if you end up pursuing a coaching career? I think that helped me a lot. <clears throat> Just off the knowledge that I know, the knowledge that I've learned since I've been here, offense and defense. So it helped me on both sides. Which side of the ball would you prefer to coach? Offense. Why? I mean, just being an offensive player my whole life, I really coach offense. Yeah. Would you have been able to make this move three years ago or, or two years ago, or, or did it need to happen in its own time? I mean, Maybe. like I said, God's got a plan for all of us. But I feel like, but me personally, I feel like if I would have made the move a while ago, I'd be in a way better spot than what I am now. How did the rest of the corners walk? I thought they, I mean, like, we, I was already close with all of them, yeah. because of the brotherhood, because of the locker room. The team is so tight, you would never even. Imagine like, like this unit, the don't hang with this unit, like we were like really all together. So it was, it was I mean, it was nothing like new. Mario, you know you're oh, kind of a, more a polarizing player amongst Buckeyes fans, right? Like mm-hmm. you got a, a huge section of the fan base that like yeah. loves everything you do. Yeah. Another part of the fan base, like what's he doing here? Why is he still here? Blah, blah, blah. What's the most misunderstood thing about Demario McCall in your five years at Ohio State? You say misunderstood? Yeah, like what I mean, do people thing, not what do people not get? One thing about me, I'ma stay positive. Like I see all the comments, I hear all the I, I see it all. I hear it all. The one thing I would never let you do is see me down. That's why I would not let you see me down. Every time you see me, I'm gonna be smiling, positive, chest up, head high. Just how I was brought up. What do you remember? How would you sum up your Ohio State career to this point? Huh? How would you sum up your Ohio State career to this point? Uh, I mean, if I, if, I, if I can sum it all up, I would just say opportunities. Every opportunity that I've had since I've been here, I took advantage of it. 
I'm continuing to do that. What do you remember about your first game as a Buckeye in mm-hmm. 2016? Two touchdowns. Talk it out. I think other people remember it too. I want. I just want your memories of that. So, so coming in our freshman year, I played. I actually played a lot of my freshman year. Uh, first game was the Swerkers. So yeah, so I actually scored two touchdowns, but I wasn't surprised by when I scored the two touchdowns because coming out of high school, I was already balling. So I just felt like just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, then after that, it was playing playing football. I played for Ohio State. It never it, 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 didn't, it didn't hit me my freshman year that I was playing for Ohio State and I didn't I'm scoring touchdowns. It hit me like my, I want to say like my sophomore junior year. I was already at Ohio State playing football. I'm doing my, doing my dream, I'm playing my dream. So it was, it was do, do you feel like you and it's not to be critical of anything but you played running back you played receiver right you went between the two rooms mm-hmm. in your career did you did you ever feel like you got caught in between a little bit of like trying to figure out exactly the best way that they could use you and how your talents fit in the most I don't or did you feel like yeah, that, that was my that, 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 that was me my sophomore year that's when I was running back one week Next week, receiver. Next week, running back. Next week, receiver. It was more so of a, I'm trying to learn both. Yeah. So it was, I mean, and I was a young buck, so my head was cloudy. So it was, I mean, I just had to figure it out. Why Why are you so mature now? What, I mean, is it just life perspective, getting older and understanding that things don't always go the way you think? Or you yeah. just seem to have a different vantage point now than maybe you have? Yeah, I mean, just the stuff I've been through, like, even outside of football, I learned how to stay calm in every situation smile through every situation and I think that helped me a lot just being here at Ohio State. One last question for Mario. Anybody? You still have the moped? I do. <laughs> All right. Do you, you understand that I think people are so interested in this because they're trying to figure out why you're here, mm-hmm. right? And that with the way you're explaining it, I think really tells the story, right? Yeah. It's like you have a vision for this. I do that maybe the, the rest of the world, us included, are trying to figure out, but it feels like you would know exactly why you're here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. We appreciate it. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, Mark. Thank you guys.